Hi, it's Stephen Caleb from Brownells, and today we're going to take an in-depth look at wildcatting the AR-15. Yeah, Steve, so we did a video in the past called, you know, What is Wildcatting? Right. And that, that got some wheels turning and kind of got me wanting to do this all over again. And this is a project we're going to be taking a taking a look at here. Uh, it's gonna. This is this is just the introduction episode. Uh, I'll link all the other episodes, especially if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, whenever they come out. But what we're going to be doing here is converting an AR-15 upper, which I already have barreled here, to a 25 GPC. Which, for those who don't know, like me, what is that? So a 25 GPC is a 6.8. SPC necked down to a 257. I see. Yeah. That is a handy size case for building things on. It really is. So in the past, I've done some uh, 2545 stuff, which mm -hmm. is a 223 necked up to a 257. Uh, but it it was fairly limited on you know range and velocity and things like that sure. because you're you're taking a 223 and adding a larger bullet. Um, but this is the other way around. We're taking a 6.8, adding a smaller projectile. So we're going to get a little bit more speed and, and a higher ballistic coefficient out of it. Right. We've got a little more case capacity to work with. Yep. So We've got a gun that'll hold it. So Exactly. And we have this, uh, this nice barrel here from uh, Mad Dog Weapon Systems. Uh, they, if you're not familiar with who they are, they do a lot of this kind of stuff. So if you're into getting getting a little crazy with your your AR, uh, MDWS or Mad Dog Weapon Systems, they're they're the way to go. A lot of the early Wildcats were kind of proprietary, you know, like the Beowulf things like that. Yeah, there were some cool things coming out, but uh, you couldn't find the components just anywhere. Right, and if you like any AR calibers other than like two two three and three hundred blackout, then mm -hmm. you're a, you're a fan of Wildcat. Wildcats are why a lot of other calibers exist just in general. Right. 22250 stuff like that yeah all that stuff that was born from from wildcat and once you take a wildcat submit it to sammy then it's it's no longer technically a wildcat uh so a lot of your favorite calibers probably were wildcats at some point oh yeah in the in the 50s everybody necked up or necked down a uh, 30 odd six yeah in the 60s it was a 308 uh every bullet size has been tried i think except for maybe 17 maybe not yeah i, I mean i'm sure you know, people people get crazy out there with even even rimfire stuff. Some right. somehow that's a that's a little bit beyond the depths I want to go, but they're, they're doing it. So uh, yeah, well I mean we're going to be working with uh, these these projectiles here. These are cutting edge bullets. So these are like CNC machined precision projectiles, Steve. And these are advertised, you know, as being good for for match. Um, hunting and competition and all that all that kind of stuff for just uh, long range shooting. So we're gonna be seeing what we can do with those. Right. And then of course brass, where else were we gonna get brass from, Steve? <laughs> where else? Uh, Starline brass. So we're using Starline brass 6.8 SPC. Nice. Um, this is actually some blim cases that they, they had laying around. And uh, I said, send them over. Yeah. I'll just, I'll clean them up. No we'll take deal. what we can get. Heck yeah. So, and of course, Hornady. Uh, if you don't know, Hornady will make custom dies, and these are custom dies for the 25 GPC uh, that was actually sent from uh, Mad Dog Weapon Systems along with this barrel. So, you can, I mean, if you're looking to wildcat something, most of the time you can get everything you need in one place, so it's not, it's not like this crazy treasure hunt you have to go on. Right, and it's not like you have to make the barrel from scratch either anymore. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, they they have a, a Mad Dog has a custom reamer. Um, he he makes these barrels, puts the extensions on, uh, does all the gas system work for you. So all you got to do is just get the barrel like you would on any other standard AR-15. Right. I mean, a lot of people enjoy that. You know, doing their own barrel. Sure. A and lot of gunsmith schools have that as a project. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, if you have a lathe uh, and a, and a mill, I mean, go for it yourself. You can you can do it. You can take a barrel blank and make the whole thing. Uh, all you need to get from there is a custom reamer, and you can you can do it all yourself. I think we're going to do it the easy way. Yeah, we'll do it the easy way for this one. Um, you know, maybe maybe we'll do something different in the future. Who knows? All right. But we'll start here. So, uh, as I said before, we're going to link all the future videos that go along with this. If you're watching this on YouTube, we'll, we'll link them all together as they come out. Um, so, 
we're super excited about this project. I know I am for sure. Uh, 257 is one of my favorite bullet diameters. So we're going to be diving into this one. So, Steve, I think uh, I think I don't know where I'm going with this. Again, all right. Once again. Well, all of you out there, if you've been down this road already with a Wildcat in your AR, let us know what you're doing. We'd like to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next installment.